Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Canadian Traveler. Hi. So today we are just going to have a little video, a little short video, on uh, the travel requirements to go to the Philippines. So as uh, as we've been going along, well, we we bought our tickets when was November. That? November. So in November there was a lot of restrictions in place. Uh, for example, we uh, were going to have to go to a COVID hotel um, for quarantine. Um, it's different whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated or partially vaccinated, uh, meaning how long you would have to spend in the COVID hotel, uh, as well as I believe we were going to have to get a negative PCR test, yeah. um, and then proof, proof of vaccination and, and, and all that stuff. Um, now, as we've been going along, the, the Philippines, uh, has changed the rules. Uh, mostly because, you know, so many people around the world are getting vaccinated and the COVID virus isn't, uh, I don't know, I shouldn't say it's not as bad as it was, but people are figuring out how to work around it. Um, so the first thing to change was actually the Philippines got rid of the COVID hotel requirements for fully vaccinated travelers, of which we are yeah. fully vaccinated. Recently. Yep, yeah, recently, like just days ago, I guess. Something like that. Yeah, just really recently, they got rid of the requirement for... COVID negative test. Yeah, the PCR, either the PCR or the rapid... The, the antigen. Antigen, yeah, the two of them. So, basically, all we have to do now, now there is a web page, what's that called? One Pass. One Pass? Yeah, One Pass. Uh, it's, it's put on by, I don't know if it's the Philippine Health Department or the, you know, the government anyways. We still have to do this it, and, and basically, you know, you put your passport information in and you put your vaccination, um, proof of vaccination in there and you have to do it so close to your trip within 48 hours. And that's really the only restriction we have at this point, other than we do have to wear a face mask. Um, this is actually two countries laws so philippine law says we have to wear a face mask for the entire trip but canadian law also dictates that any planes whether domestic or going overseas that originate or or end in canada also have to be masked so you know wear a face mask that's really our only restriction now that's for fully vaccinated passengers uh, unvaccinated passengers i don't know really all the procedures uh, I do believe COVID hotels are still at play. Um, so I'm only able to, we are only able to talk about fully vaccinated travelers. And be, because we're fully vaccinated, that's what we pay attention to. Um, if someone's unvaccinated, I, I would recommend obviously going to the Philippine Airlines. Actually, their website is really good about giving the information for everybody, whether you're vaccinated, unvaccinated. So if you're unvaccinated and you're traveling, I would definitely recommend to check their website if you're going to the Philippines. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's so, so that's basically what this video is about. Uh, the update. Yeah, an update on the restrictions and the restrictions really aren't restrictive anymore. Uh, the only other thing is once we get there, we have to self... Quarantine. No, no, not quarantine. Uh, pay attention to ourselves. Self-diagnose? No, that's not the right word. Uh, basically monitor. Self-monitor. That's it. <laughs> Self-monitor ourselves. You know, and if we get sick, then we would have to let the local government unit know and, and follow whatever procedures at that point. So there you have it. That's our most recent update on what's happening with COVID and traveling to the Philippines. So... Yeah, we're just getting close, and we're looking forward to showing you videos of the trip and there. And stay tuned. Bye. Bye bye.